Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. I am Julie with Alliance Team Realty and I'm joined today, I'm um, over here at Bell Bank Mortgage in St. Louis Park and this is the loan officer that I've worked with for over 10 years, Larry Kowalsik and Christy, his assistant. And we're just going to talk today a little bit about the home buying process. So, Larry, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. All right. And uh, the home buying process is, is even more important today than it might have been 10 years ago. And just the reason being is that uh, the market is extremely tight, extremely competitive, mm -hmm. and one of the most important things to do is to get, a pre get yourself pre-approved uh, for your mortgage with a, as little contingencies as possible. The information that I'm going to need to be able to do that uh, is to, I'm going to need um, your pay stubs. If you're self-employed, I would need a couple of years worth of tax returns, the two years most recent tax returns, most recent pay stubs, and your bank statements. In addition, what we would do is have you go to my website and uh, uh, complete a worksheet. Once that worksheet is completed, we will pull that information and in, in review everything, including your credit. And then with that, um, we will contact you to set up a time to meet with you on a face-to-face -face basis. Um, if, if you uh, don't have the time, we would then have a conversation over the phone. But in reality, as far as a first-time home buyer, I'm going to highly recommend that we try to meet on a face-to-face -face basis. It just takes away um, the opportunity for uh, potential misunderstandings and communication. Larry, what are the pitfalls that some first-time home buyers fall into? I think a lot of first-time home buyers uh, feel like that there are um, down payment assistance programs, and there are down payment assistance programs for the right situation, but um, that doesn't that may not be the best product for you. So I think one of the things that I like to do is present everything to you, so that you can make the the, the best decision based upon your scenario. Okay, and are there different types of loans and programs that you offer? We can go anywhere from, from you know, FHA and VA loans to uh, Minnesota Housing Finance Agency loans to a typical conventional 5% down, 3% down. For example, there's a couple of products out there right now called Home Possible and Home Ready. Um, if your credit scores happen to be you know, 680, maybe 700 in a normal world, you would typically um, end up paying a slightly higher interest rate if you were to fall in the, into an income category that you would, you would meet those guidelines and or there are a fair amount of market areas that have no income limits, you would potentially uh, not be charged anything extra in an interest rate, and or and you also receive uh, a mortgage insurance rate that's one full level below the standard level. So there's just so many things to, to, to understand okay. in this business, um, and you really, you know, if we, we could spend an hour together, I can give you and show you those, those things to, to, to be able to make the best decision. Okay. Are there buyers today that think they're ready to go that might not be? Definitely. I mean, definitely. We, we get buyers in here that um, would take and, and see their credit scores being on Credit Karma being 660, maybe 680. And when the mortgage, when we pull a mortgage credit report, they are uh, put together in a different, different format. And so I've seen situations where Credit Karma might be 660, which is totally doable for a lot of situations where we end up getting an actual credit report with scores that are you know, 610, um, somewhat lower, and that puts you in a position where you're extremely limited and in a lot of cases not even, even able to buy. One of the things that I can offer, I mean, honestly, if, if you knew that you were going to buy a house uh, six months to a year from now, I'd recommend that you start the process today because we can take a look at your situation. If there are any pitfalls that we're going to run into or potential problems, um, I can coach you out, uh, to coach you into a direction that is going to put you in a position to buy when you're ready. Okay, great. Do buyers today have to have some money saved to put down on a down payment? Uh, typically, it is best if you do, um, but again, we'll go through different options that might be available. Um, first, of, for, you know, first of all, uh, down payments can be VA loans or, or zero down um, in, in the, the outlying areas if you uh, that market qualifies you for a USDA rural housing loan. Um, that is as little as zero down. Okay, um, FHA requires a down payment of three and a half percent, and then on a conventional loan, um, which would be a minimum of three percent down, uh, we've got products that would fit you there. The pro the other product that's out there today for um, zero down would be, and it isn't even zero down because with Minnesota Housing Finance Agency, they require that you invest at least a thousand dollars into the transaction yourself. Uh, but again, there are income limitations, and the minus to, to that type of a product is typically the interest rates are slightly higher than market rate. Okay. 
And what are the rates right now? Um, FHA and VA rates typically are slightly lower than uh, conventional, but right now, um, based on credit score, et cetera, roughly 4.5% on a 30-year fixed rate. Uh, that's slightly higher than what it was six months, maybe a year ago. But when you look at a 10, 15, 20-year history, that's an extremely attractive interest rate. Yeah. On a conventional loan, we're probably 4 and 5 A's today. Um, FHA and VA loans really are not affected by a credit score, where on a conventional loan, um, the rate could be as high as, say, 4 and 7 A's if, in fact, your credit score were to be, you know, to in the 650 range. Okay. And once someone gets pre-approved, how long is that pre-approval good for? Pre-approval is um, technically good for uh, the period of the credit report, which is 120 days to closing, okay? Um, the nice thing about that, though, is once we've got your pay stubs, once we've got your bank statements, we've taken a look at everything, analyzed everything, all we really need to do to renew that for another 120 days is to pull a new credit report and probably get a new pay stub. So in reality, it's good for 120 days, but in, in, in the real world to update it, uh, very simple. Gotcha. And once a buyer has a signed purchase agreement, how long does it take uh, your process to actually close on a loan? Okay. Um, once a purchase agreement is signed, and I think the, the real question there would be is how long does it uh, how long does it take to get the home inspection cleared? Home inspections typically take you know three to five days to get that cleared. Uh, and the reason I say that is we typically hold off on waiting to order the appraisal until the home inspection has been cleared. Okay. Uh, from that time frame, the minimum time frame we prefer to have is going to be 30 days. We've done them in a, as quick as two weeks. I shouldn't say that on camera. <laughs> uh, but the reality is in a perfect world, probably 30 to 45 days. Okay, great. And just tell us a little bit about you. Okay, well... I've been with Bell Bank Mortgage for uh, 18 years, and I've been in the role of originating loans and managing. Uh, Christy Bateson has been with me for um, as an uh, as, uh, as an assistant for, uh, and is is moving into a new role as uh, one of uh, one of my business partners. And uh, I've been actually in the mortgage business for a whopping 31 years. Prior to that, I sold real estate up in actually St. Cloud for about eight years. So, mortgage world, real estate world for pushing 40 years. Okay, long time. Chrissy, anything that you want to add? Um, we really like to deal with uh, first-time home buyers because they are eager to learn and um, just eager to know everything about what um, they need to do for their mortgage. And uh, they really enjoy meeting with Larry and working with us just for the fact that we like to walk them through every step of the way. We are always available, you know, with questions and they, you know, really appreciate our efforts after that. Awesome. You know, and I, I would say one thing, too, that I would ask you is, um, you know, the process today is more cumbersome than it was 10 years ago. Uh, so the when we need um, additional documentations as we're processing the loan as efficient as you can to provide that information makes our job easier and also is going to get you the answer you need uh, to, to make your offer to get your loan approved to kind of on a much quicker basis. Great. And I think that would, well, I think everyone would agree that communication lines always open. You guys are phenomenal with your processing. But yeah, the sooner we get on stuff, the sooner we have information, the better the process goes, certainly. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, good deal. Anything else that you guys want to add? Super important today to be pre approved um, prior to going out e and even looking at homes. I had someone this weekend that. Um, called me on a Saturday and needed a pre-approval that day. That's not optimum. Um, the best thing to do is get that done in advance so that when you find a particular home, you're ready to make that decision. I'll provide a pre-approval letter specific to the address of the property rather than a generic pre-approval. Okay. And, um, you know, we are available to do that in, 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 whenever you need. Great. All right. Well, thank you both. This was so informative. I hope you guys learned a lot. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's an awesome, awesome time to buy a house, working with great people. We want to surround you with a great team of people, and certainly um, working with Larry and his team, you would be surrounded with a great team. So I thank you so much for your time. Again, this is Julie with Alliance Team Realty, and we will see you soon. Thanks.